Welcome to an episode of Potion Sword Run. In this episode, we'll be talking about Borderlands, the movie, and how it flopped severely. Borderlands, the movie, flopped severely. In the box office, it only got about $12 million when the movie cost about $120 million, not including $30 million for marketing. So about $150 million for Borderlands. And it only made about $15 million, 10% of what it needed to recover. This is gonna go down as the worst movie of the year. And it also coincides with the worst casting of the year. And I think that is the major problem. The casting was just way off. Kevin Hart, he's played out. He's the same role in every movie. He's not an actor, he's a comedian. Kate Blanchett, Jamie Lee Curtis, although great actresses, are too old for this role. They just don't seem to fit the characters either. So right from the start, with the casting, you could tell that they were way in over their head. They're actually taking movies back to the days when they were awful. Nowadays, video game movies have caught up to the rest of film. The standards are up here, but Borderlands is dragging it back down. The casting, the casting was the biggest mistake they did. Now imagine if they had just younger actors, better actors, not over the hill actors, comedians who don't know how to act. Even Black Jack. Jack Black, fool. Are you dyslexic or what, eh? Even Black Jack, they have him only as a voiceover. So I can't get over the casting at all. Whoever did the castings, they need to get fired. But besides that, critics are saying the movie is no good. It's just boring. Rotten Tomatoes has given it a 10%. And it's fitting that the movie sucks because the games also start to suck. The first one, it was a noble idea, great idea. The second one, they perfected it, all right. And the third one, same thing, rinse and repeat played out. It didn't innovate after the first two. It wasn't really improved except for better graphics because we had a new system. But when it comes to the core gameplay and it being fun, it wasn't. So I'm not sure how much Gearbox was involved in making this movie. Or if they have any input at all. You know, usually they just sell the rights to the movie studios and they're the one that take over. But somewhere along the way, someone, a lot of people messed up. And in a funny way, I'm actually glad that this movie flopped. Because it shows those people who made these decisions that they can't make them so lightly. Gamers aren't going to flock to a movie just because it's video game based. It has to be good. The same with the general public. They'll go to the movie if it's good. But you just can't slap a name on it, put big actors on it, and expect the movie to succeed. Not anymore. Same with video games. Borderlands 4, if it wants a chance to succeed, you actually have to innovate. Make it worth playing again. You can't make the same game again and expect people, the general audience, your fans, to keep buying it. So Borderlands is still a great franchise if it's well taken care of. But... The way the movie is going, the way part 3 was launched, I don't really have too much hope in Gearbox or Borderlands as a franchise. I'm going to leave it right there. You guys let me know what you guys think about the movie, the game, and I'll get back to you guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.